Alright, people, welcome back. More DM Do commentary. So, DM Do commentaries are on Tuesday. They're kind of like the league, but different. So, if you guys are coming from the league, then thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. But this is more like without Stanzi and we're babysitting. <laughs> and we don't know what next we're going <laughs> to Without Stanzi. <laughs> without Stanzi, yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely for DM Do commentary, we're not going to have Stanzi because he's, of course, in the league as a co commentary. Ooh! Oh! Uh, oh, damn. Anyway, we Three have for one here. Lunar is Hello. actually a person I am here. in the league. Uh, he is the I am. of the galaxy, the, the kite galaxy the photons. The kite galaxy photons. Yeah. Or the crazy guy who tried to use Medusa against Cleave. You guys saw in the first episode. <laughs> so thank you guys for supporting the league and staying and hitting that subscribe button and staying for the channel. So yeah, this is a series that I do. It's kind of like League, but this was before League where pretty much uh, where you, uh, stalk Ooh. people on the end and watch them play some Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> and most That's of the time, we do. Sit. Most of the time, babysit because they fuck up and there's a talent. Anyways, we got Brennan918 here with a 702. And then we got Gadgets. And he's using Gadgets. <laughs> what a surprise. With 1058. Yeah, what a surprise. What a twist. <laughs> so uh, he went ahead and uh, he's, it's uh, Necros, which of course is the tier 1 deck in the league. And definitely still a really good deck, Necros. Uh, versus Gadgets, which is... <laughs> Not even tier three. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, rank four dot deck. It's not terrible. It's not terrible, but still, I mean, come on. So it's not doing shit all against Necros. Yeah, especially when without back row as well. Yeah, without back row too. Like, mm. 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 <laughs> so you know, people thought you know, straight to one. You know, it's a great hit for Necros. Like, nah. You will put Unicorn, maybe we can talk too, but just for it, like not even close. But with all the hits on the OCG and TCG combined, com combined, 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 combined. <laughs> Damn, they're combined now. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> with both of them, with both of us combined for worlds, I, I don't know. I just don't see Necros winning it. Hmm. Yeah. I think. Who do you think is gonna win worlds? I'm really not up with the competitive. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't have the foggiest. Wow. They're already beating the crap out of them. So, uh... One of the top decks. <laughs> I pro I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably be like, oh, I'm going to probably have to say, uh, Ritual Beast. You know, they're completely unfazed by Quartz Bell's list. Uh, and I, I feel like just like how, you know, Necro should have won some nationals but didn't because of all the hate, I think that the hate's definitely going to be on Klee's uh -huh. shoulder. Because I know people are going to go after them Klee's like crazy, so. <laughs> yeah. Alright. You might be right. I just, I just think that that has going to go down just like how where Necros couldn't top because, you know, everybody's hating on them. I think everybody's going to hate on Klee's, so I'm going to have to give number, the number two. Uh, it's, it, I was maybe thinking Telenites, but, you know, uh, when it comes to Telenites, you know, they're, not only are they missing two Rota, which definitely lowers the consistency, uh, you know, they, they have pretty much the same kind of hate that you do against Cleese. They went ahead and blocked it by pitching a Trish. How many Trish? Is, is that a second Trish? Or is that just a single Trish? I don't know. That is... I wish we could check the graveyard. Why can't we check the graveyard? Yeah, I know. Like, really? Like, I don't understand what's so wrong about checking a graveyard. The graveyard is common knowledge, so how come you just can't check it? Exactly. Why can't we look at it? Oh, but we might tell the opponent what they can look at. But they can look at- <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. We might tell the opponent what they can already see. <laughs> I he has a church in the grave. Like, yeah, no. See, and then there we go. See? So people are like, yeah, oh, I know. yeah, shit, I can, shit. I can look at it. Yeah. Yeah, shrit down to one. They're like, oh yeah, you know, you only oh, have that, one shrit. That's a hefty then, hit. Yeah, oh, but your uh, card's still at three. Go ahead and piss in your card, grab back so the shrit. Just get it you back. Wanna, yeah, get it right back. <laughs> so, I don't know. Seems fair. <laughs> I said, even if you ban shrit, they could even they could even run the uh the Gishki one. What's the um, the entire ritual cost for a water monster? Yeah, so, the uh, vision yeah. or the the 
other one. I mean, there are two. You can't search it like shit, but still, you still have ways. Because you don't know that's the problem. Also, on the gi the Gishki ritual spells, literally for water ritual monsters, it doesn't say for a Gishki monster. Exactly. So, so fuck them up. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Game. Unless you have Book of Moon. <laughs> Suck it. Suck it. <laughs> and the scars. Tear one boys. Yeah. Get that search. Pray to get that search. Get that search. <laughs> You got Book of Moon? Or is that it? Oh no, poor g g g g g gadgets Oh! Oh! Oh, oh damn! Dan, you called it! <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> with number generator combined with this guy just oh, not immediately oh. quitting. But now but then again, what's he gonna do? Yeah, what's well, he gonna what do? Is he gonna do? <laughs> let me see, let me see top deck. At this point, I'm not even sure if Regeki can save you. Top deck, win the game, the card. <laughs> yep, scoop it up. Yeah. Going on the game too. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and pause. It was a valiant effort. A valiant effort, but Necros are still Necros. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Alright, we're back. So, can uh, Gagad just take it to game <laughs> get to game 3 or is he just gonna be a Necros beat down? <laughs> You never know. You never know. <laughs> the funny thing is, Necros are actually played in Week One, but they lost a pretty good miss. Oh, oh, I mean, oh. that's cool. But you know, all he has to do is just summon a Mendru or a Senju and run your butt off. Yeah, so. exactly. It's a shame. It has such low attack. It's a damn shame. <laughs> you know, with no backer to back it up to. No, so you just gotta hope yeah, and pray that you didn't have a Mendru or Senju. Oh, I'm just gonna throw Jarko at you. Like, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so now what? Okay, I'm. Uh, I guess I'm assuming you really wanted to get some damage in. Let's go ahead and throw the fight ground at the yeah. you. Not a yeah. bad choice. Otherwise, there was no point in the dark hole. Yeah, there was no other point because you could have just summoned the sentry search and ran it over. I'm assuming that you just wanted to uh, get more damage. Get a shit ton out. Yeah, he wanted. But then you didn't get your search, so. Yeah. That was the plan, to go ahead and dark call you, send you search, and go to town on your butt. Shave off some life points real quick. So I wonder what they decided respectively. I mean, I'm assuming that that Flotodano is definitely a Psy. I wonder if he main decked the Veiler or excited in the Veiler. You're already going on the defensive. And, uh, Brennan, you're going to go ahead and slip up that Royal Decree during the Oh, nope, I'm just going to space Ooh. Ooh. Get rid of that Mirror Force. You don't need it. There's no gin lock, but still near force. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what happened. Damn so if strength. this was the league, then, of course, Bennett would only win one point. But, <laughs> damn, see? See? And people thought that necros are dead. Mm-mm. Don't. You put thought that. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'd have to slap that person. Mm-hmm. So, we need to get another dueling. <laughs> that was not nearly long enough. All right. So, Alright. Uh, we'll go ahead and look for another duel. So we're back. Alright, people. We got another duel. So, this is a, obviously a donor with this girl. You think she's cute, Lunar? <laughs> Would you tap that, Lunar? Oh, uh, adorable. <laughs> Ador. <sighs> this man, Lunar, doesn't get girls. You never call a girl adorable, man. <laughs> this guy, I swear to God. <laughs> You go to a girl, you're like, I just think you're adorable. What are you talking about? I'm swimming in it. <laughs> I'm swimming in it. <laughs> <laughs> this man is swimming in the pool. <laughs> anyway, we have Jerry90 can't be free. I don't know who that is. <laughs> 1419. And even, are the sleeves also that woman? They're upside down. So really I think so. I think so. Pretty sure. Versus, lol, why are you mad? <laughs> and 939. Why yeah. you have to be mad? No There's only gay. Obviously, using the powerful BA. So, Jerry went first, set a whole bunch of back row, which hasn't revealed what the deck is yet. And I know how much you guys hate when <laughs> our commentary is all disjointed. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and just deprison that Dante. Get it out of here. Of course, he's still gonna get the. No, wait. He... No, he doesn't get this comment effect during anything because he smashes something, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he special summoned it. Yeah. yeah, that was a great time to deprison. You don't see that card enough these days. <laughs> Still mm -hmm. a really great card. It was like, oh, mirror force. No, 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 deprison's better. Oh no, mirror force is better. Yeah, oh it, no, it really no, does. no it one always... really plays either. 
<laughs> Literally, it always goes back and forth. Yeah. Yep. Get out of that deck. Lol, you mad you don't get your scarf? <laughs> I just don't feel alright with that picture and those sleeves and calling this person Jerry. <laughs> well, it's probably not the person themselves. <laughs> it just doesn't look right. I highly doubt you'd make a, an account of like on Dueling Network and then actually have your self as your sleeves and your oh, profile pic. Ooh dear. Obviously. Maybe open shit. Oh, just summon that for shit. the Nova. Yep, summon that for the Nova. I don't know. I, I wonder if anybody's on here like, oh, it's a girl. Oh, be my girlfriend. <laughs> it's a grill. <laughs> Look at all these watchers. Mate. Like, <laughs> but then again, lol, why are you mad, Taya? Ew. It's like, come on, that's Ew. also a grill. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. She might have been good because she was like the first girl, but they started creating a lot better girls and then a lot younger <laughs> girls. <laughs> like, like, come on, can you get to the demographic? The majority of the people who play Yu-Gi-Oh have grown up. We're adults now. It's like it's like your demographic yeah. of Kingdom Hearts. Like, we're adults. You know, that's why everybody loves Yusei. He's he's more relatable than freaking Yuma. Yusei. Like, what the fuck is what the fuck is a Yuma? <laughs> Card games on motorcycles, you say. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I, I I did not watch that at all. Yep, yep, just did it for the Nova. Let's go ahead and draw a card. Uh, did you watch, uh, Zexel? I watched a lot of Zexel. I skipped, like, the good, f a good first half of it. I skipped all the filler and then just watched the, the main kind of plot line Ooh. bit. Get out of that deck, Jerry. Yeah, none of that. None of that. None of that. Powerful mistake. I'm actually surprised they didn't hit this. I really am. I mean, I don't mind mistake at three, but I'm just surprised that Konami didn't hit it just because it's another floodgate. Mm -hmm. Especially, I mean, a great business plan Konami would have been to hit mistake. Oh my god. Freaking your uh, mistaken arrest for the. <laughs> I mean, that card's already through the roof because it's a secret rare. But, you know, that would have yeah. been even more. would have wanted that way more. Yeah, that would have been even way more of an incentive. Like, yeah, mistake is on one. What's it called? Is it called something different yeah, now? Yeah, mistaken arrest. Not wrongful. No, mistaken, mistaken. arrest. It makes sense, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jared's going to go ahead and draw and scoop. <laughs> let, me, let me see my next card. I, like the, I do like the artwork on the arrest card. <laughs> the taking pot of green. <laughs> That's not a mistake. Uh, That's a justified arrest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and pause and go to game two, but damn. So Burning Abyss, you can tell her I say, uh, definitely I'd still say Burning Abyss is what, what what deck number would you say Burning Abyss is? I'd say Burning Abyss is at least four. Like at most four, sorry. Yeah. The highest up. And what would you say? Four. What would you say tell her I'd say in in my eyes, Necros is one, then uh Klee it's probably two, maybe, I don't know, Satella and Klee are both pretty damn good. And then Burning Abyss is below those. See, and that's all I remember the things I was saying about winning worlds, telling us winning worlds. Look, 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 did you see how bad Jerry opened up? And that's yeah. with three Rota. Remember, OCG, they don't have one Rota, so Teller Knights, whoever plays uh, Teller Knights, yeah, only that's one true. Rota. That's Much true. Much more inconsistent. Teller aren't going to do... <laughs> Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, so, what I'm saying is, whenever people would, you know, suggest, you know, how to hit Teller Knights, I'm like, well, of course hit Trev, but just hit the deck's consistency, you know? Like, I mean, Unuk is a walking foolish to go ahead and send that Deneb, lower the consistency of Deneb. Yeah. Hitting all tired would kill the deck, though. I mean, you would probably lower it down to two, but, you know, they're going to powder out. They're going to run out of resources and powder out, which is... Hurting the deck too much. Mm -hmm. I, thought, I thought a couple people want that card to go down. All tired. And to they go might down start to running blooming serious. <laughs> They're like all tired of one. I'm like what? <laughs> like, you know what? Fine. Jeez. <laughs> Fine. Let me just go ahead and take my tolerance and throw them in the damn trash can. <laughs> <laughs> so Lolly Mad went ahead and threw the dark hole. So I mean, Gary could have went ahead and uh, uh, no, but it, but it didn't matter. He just wanted to get that tolerance off the field, of course. So he could go ahead and get his tour guide out. 
to her guys still one of the best opening plays for Burning Abyss, of course. Mm-hmm. You know, people also say that tour guy wasn't the correct hit for Burning Abyss. <laughs> then I want my tour guy back for my fluffles. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought three just before they got hit. Wow. <laughs> and I don't often buy cards. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't it just hard to obtain, harder to obtain cards over there? Are they more expensive? Mm, I'm just broke. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm broke. Have a job. All right, see you got, guys. Winner's broke. Cooking and makes them the money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, if you guys want to buy art or something, you can go ahead and do that. Oh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All, the, all that beautiful art that you guys have seen from the league, uh, you know, the the actual logo, all the team things, that, that Luna made those. Except! I did. Except, I oh. actually did the promo one. I, the, <laughs> oh, yeah. I, he did. He did do that. He added the... I added the Evil Mastery and the, and promo, the promo word. <laughs> And it just happened to be that I just <laughs> was like, oh, this is the site that Luna uses. Oh, this is the font that Luna uses. Oh, I didn't even have to change the color, really. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you know my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, pretty much everything. The banner, the end card, Luna, Luna is just the art. Like, if it's, if it's a really good art, then Luna did it. If it's a really shitty one, then I did it. <laughs> 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 and then after I actually did that, then I started opening up everything on freaking the freaking paint. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 go back to just you know paint that net garbage. Gonna... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> go back to my bad one. <laughs> so <funny. laughs> Don't think that people. Uh, <laughs> I... Don't let it is pretty humbling though to see my art up on so many big YouTube and channels. Oh my it's God. a pretty cool thing to see. I went viral. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that Minecraft stuff. Sir, get that out of here. Look at that hand. See, that wouldn't have happened if Sir was at one. Like it should be. <laughs> like I said, I, that, that's what I think. If you're going to hit Burning Bits, I think Sir should be the one to get hit. So he's going to go ahead and go all tire. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Burning Bits just seem like they have a lot more control when it comes to background. Yeah. Yeah. Slow a lot harder than yeah. control a lot harder. So I definitely say burning abyss are definitely I'd say I think personally the worlds I, they're gonna be above Satella. Yeah, I, they're above Satella. Like, I'd say Burning Abyss are deck number three. That's just me personally. I definitely still think Knuckles are number one. Uh I'd say Cleese have a better matchup against Burning Abyss now. I'd say I'm very unprofessional with my phone going off in <laughs> in this video. <laughs> Uh, Professionalism, you know, with the wavering eyes and telltale. Because one of the weaknesses of the, the, yeah. the matchup between Cleves and Burning Abyss was, you know, the Fire Lake, the, your scales, man. Oh my God! But now wavering eyes, I can literally just dodge out of the way, you know, and drop and killer on yeah. you. I mean, uh, one person co did comment and was like, you know, oh, they can do, they can, you know, use uh, Barbara and stall out and, and go into fucking a uh, uh, shark and attack directly. Like, uh, uh, that's not gonna work. That's, you, you're gonna get too much pressure applied to you. You're gonna lose, you know. <laughs> That is way too much pressure, so... Anyway, got off the trip. So, mm-hmm. Got to turn his call That was a very crucial, very crucial very trip. Very crucial trip. You know, return of Dante's back to the deck, no effect. So, very good. So, this is a random topic, but what do you think about them not continuing UA? I think that sucks. I really do. I think that sucks. Because... I mean, I know this was going around everywhere. It's not like I was the first person to think of it, but they, of their levels, they were all getting two, yeah? Like, there was two level fives, two level whatevers, but the only thing is there was an eight, there's only one eight, and there's only one four. And they released two monsters every set. So it made sense that they were going to make another level four and another level eight. And they just decided, fuck you, A's, they're gonna go ahead and hop yep. onto Kaiju. And make Kaiju. Like, really? Like, I do like Kaiju, but. I wanted to see they're... some hockey. I mean, I'm not a hockey fan or anything, but I yeah, thought you were gonna see hockey. Yeah, I know. I mean, that ho that trap card just suggested <laughs> hockey. Yep, <but> no. <laughs> and they're, they're uh, exporting I, UA's. I do like the idea of the Kaiju, but the issue is no one plays them like how they were designed. Because they're designed to 
be like the old kaiju movies where you have two big monsters fight each other. That's why you can only control one and you give one to your opponent. Yeah, but then they're like, oh, you have two big monsters fight each other. Like, People are just like, no, I'm just going to play Owner's Seal. Yeah, Owner's Seal. <laughs> so, Tribute your monster, give it back. Like, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, like, so cool. Like, what? Volcan I said, like, some decks and they were just like, oh, yeah, the kaiju monsters and Volcanic Queen and Lava Golem. Like, damn. Like, you know what? It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> You want to just uh, sort of play some fucking Monarch Storm Satan Force, Claus. Like, uh, yeah, Santa, yeah, Santa Claus, like, really? <laughs> you just, yeah, like, you know what, fine, I didn't want my freaking monsters on my field anyway. Like I said, I, I, I've only seen a couple, a little bit of that deck, the Kaiju deck, and then I'm not, I'm not too blown away. What, you, what, what about you? The Spider Dude is, Spider Dude is really strong. Because his turn, his effects not once per turn, so uh, he can negate practically everything. <laughs> Man, just removing all them freaking counters. Because that field spell is yeah. just building up the counters. Yeah, the field spell builds up counters so fast because it's evil player. I was about to say, I have to say, Jerry, I know you have something back there. He's gonna go ahead and block that. Yep. Yep. God, yep. tier one is slow. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny in the league. These are this is actually two tier one decks. So, if this was actually a league battle, this yeah. would only be one point <laughs> for whoever wins. Mm-hmm. I right, say, so what do you think of the point system? I think, in theory, it's a good idea, but there are some things like, uh, maybe I think I know it would suck if people just kept spamming tier one over and over again. But the whole, you can't use the same deck as last time, that kind of makes the point system feel redundant. Because like I said, if someone uses tier 1 uh, on like their first turn or whatever, their first go, then they can't use it in their next duel. So they can use their tier 2 or their tier 3. So I could play tier 2 where Ooh, that's I, uh, if I win against my opponent's tier 2 or tier 3, which they have to bring, bring I get 1 point. But then I could just bring tier one, and I get one point for winning against Eva as well. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, like I say, I, I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but I, for what I'm thinking right now, I'm definitely going to implement the change uh, for next season. Uh, there's not that rule's going to be taken out. The, you can't use the previous deck rule. That's probably going to be yeah. taken out. Yeah. You could maybe have it like there's a limit on each the amount of times you can use each deck, or something. Yeah, that might work. That might work. You know, you can only use some as many decks so many times. So, because I wanted to actually, you know, give it a little bit of strategy. Like, oh, well, they used that deck last yeah. week, so you know, and I can plan accordingly. Especially when you know, uh, of course, another change that we're going to implement is you're going to be able to update your side deck each week as well. So, uh, you can plan accordingly. Yeah, there's a chance they're going to be using yeah. one of the three yeah. decks. So, because what side, side deck for the whole thing is like. I said this, this is still it's still still in the working, still in the testing. This is only season one, of course. But yep. uh, like I said, we have a lot of plans for season two, and we're like one week <laughs> into season one, we're already making all these plans and changes. So Lol you mad is sitting mm -hmm. there behind that skill drain. The power. <laughs> there he's just sitting over here, just <laughs> like oh, he's gonna go ahead and just fuck it, just exceed. Yep. <laughs> Or could just summon something. You don't give a shit about your skill. Yeah, just go ahead and go into Deltrails. Just summon something to go ahead and beat over the. Uh. <laughs> Paro. Pedo Pedo. About to play some cave, <laughs> Caveman Yu Gi Oh! I'm sorry, that's, that, yeah, that's yeah. how I feel about freaking skill, Jane. No effects. No effects. You just, you just turn Caveman Yu Gi Oh! Especially when it's, when it's just skill drain and no back row from either side, then it's really Caveman Yu Gi Oh! Oh, sorry, I didn't know Bandai still in the game. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, skill drain, compulse. Do you guys believe in the number generator? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you, don't, you haven't been seeing compulse much lately, but you know, there's just particular decks that uh, compulse is still good against. This is game two, right? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, what was I saying about number generator? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> damn. Damn. Get the multiers out of here. Wow. 
still doing Capullo's crash card. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> what is next? It's a crash card. Still a really good card. Of course, it's not as, you know, it's not busted like it was before, but still a great card. You know, even with this rod, I would still mm -hmm. definitely keep it at one. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. In which, I guess, Konami is in agreement. So, I, I, so we talked about the slate deck changing, right? I can talk about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. In his heroes? Yeah. yeah. You can talk about that. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, I was just thinking, for his Electrum OTK deck, he could have ran Temple of the Kings, couldn't he? Uh, and then he could have played his Chain Material. He could play it, but, like I said, remember, it's on the April list. So, I believe he... Oh, yeah, it was so, April list, so he it's was, still at, it was still, is at it one. still at one. It was still at one, and he ran one. Oh, okay. My bad. I was just thinking... Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so, it's just one of them times where <laughs> uh, the new list would have been better for him, but nope. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're gonna go ahead and go to game three. I mean, Jerry definitely looked like he might be able to uh, out resource yeah. the lonely mad here. Why? I think so. Oh my! Get out of that, deck, Jerry. <laughs> None, of that. None of that. None of that. Nah, put, put that back. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, I say you know, go ahead and reveal it, because people don't do that and make the game stay irreparable. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well. well, in this case, he could have just revealed his other card. Uh, I mean, it would be. Yeah. Cast out. Oh, but then again, if he had two Anux. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're gonna go ahead and put all his Altairs back. Who needs Sirius when you have Emerald? Seriously. Seriously. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> like, even when I saw it, at Seriously. first I was like, oh yeah, Sirius is exactly what they need, it's so good, and then I was just like, wait a minute, I'm gonna just play Emerald. <laughs> even, like, Pot of Avarice. Jar of Avarice, whichever one, I didn't remember which I one's which. I mean, it's which. nice that you went ahead and did your Emerald play and got yourself set up, but, you know, with the low amount of resources, low you mad had, and, you know, not being able to special summon any more burning discs because of mistake, I would have cast out away this, sir. That was just me. Yeah. Now he could just go ahead and if he has a brain wish monster, summon it, go into a Dante, detach the Sir Mill, summon it. And then you're screwed. Yeah, so, I said, I guess it was a good play to go ahead. He's got a lot of back row, though. Thing. Yeah. There's, I mean, it's not too much back row that can really affect what plays are going to occur. Yeah. I mean, the, mm -hmm. the, the deep prison are putting in work, but like I said, you can still get Sir's effect. Uh, it doesn't have a ton around the field, so it's not like Mad has to worry about Nova. I mean, I guess he could if he went ahead and activated, like, you know, Wastes are called hunting some of the Talonite, but I'm just trying to figure out, nope, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. It's because, you know, you're just still sitting there looking at the, uh, the Sir. He's going to go ahead and summon Vega, so unless you mad has an end phase MST, he's going to go ahead and summon Vega. That was kind of risky, especially if he didn't say anything, I mean. You could have held on to the MST in his hand, I guess. I mean, who does that, though? Mm. So you're going to summon Vega, and then Vega, no effect. <laughs> guess he didn't have a Terminate Monster in his hand. Alright. And he got off uh, the Goose Emerald again, the power. Mm hmm. Still can't search, but. Still, uh, definitely seems like he's gonna out resource his opponent. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon uh, maybe a trip. Gary's taking this round. Yeah. Uh, summon Altair, Altair summon, go into a triv, return your. Uh, yeah. Return that mistake, return that sir, get that off the field. Or not. Oh, okay. It looked like he's just doing two. Trip? The mistake back in your hand, so bounce all the things. Yep, get his oasis back, get his call the haunted back. Mm, delicious. Yep. Definitely just gonna go ahead and just out resource. You know what's interesting is there hasn't been a single diamond yet. <laughs> so and take that out. Wow. Not the mistake. Yeah. <laughs> 
So hopefully lull you mad top decks into a burning abyss so you can go ahead and special and normal and go into a Dante. Seems like one of the best places you could He managed to hit the one that he didn't know. Yeah, he managed to hit the one that he didn't know. But now he knows uh you mad's entire hand right now. You gonna go ahead and uh Wait, is there, some, Crush it say, up. is there some reason why he couldn't attack and slap a diamond and stuff in main phase two? I... I need to get my mouse off the screen. Oh, uh... Like, is it just me? Did he just straight up didn't attack? Yeah, did he not... <laughs> Am I missing That's something? That's what I was saying. Am I missing something? Yeah. I was gonna say, oh, LTR, and I was like, wait, no, that's 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 a satellite yeah. monster. No, I, I was like, it wouldn't. Why didn't you attack? See, I would have won the diamond. I would have definitely slapped the diamond. Diamonds are forever. Diamond would have been great right now because you <laughs> clearly know what that set monster is. So you got to do what sir. So hopefully you have a way to do what sir. Anything? Gonna go ahead and get all his search done. Oh nope, Mercury skill. <laughs> get out of here. Put that off your back. <laughs> So that was a pretty good idea. Go ahead and suddenly get your search on during the end phase. Of course, you know that there's a mistake down there. And the plays you're doing right now are a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, someone who's no effect. I'm gonna go ahead and XC into Dweller. Called it. <laughs> Called it. Got him. <laughs> Break your skill? Nope. Got him. Got him. <laughs> 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 so now you know all of his cards. Got him. Okay. <laughs> Got him again. Got him <laughs> and then there is the Shadow Prison Mirror. And uh Did he just I know. Well uh, did you just not like attacking directly with Trude, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> like, is there some reason that tree is not attacking? I might eat. That is 4,200. There probably is. There's probably some reason, and like, okay, I'm I'm gonna look like idiots, and the comments section will tell us. <laughs> maybe, because I don't get it. Because to me, it just looks like yeah. you're missing 4,200 damage of pure juiciness, and the opponent's still sitting at 7,000, man. Alright. The nab attack? Okay. Oh, the Pero. Yeah, Dwell that it. makes sense. You forgot. That's why he wasn't attacking. Oh, yeah, the Pero. Makes sense, makes sense. Is Pero optional or mandatory? Yeah, I thought it was optional, so why would you do it when Dweller is active? Uh, is that it? Are we going on to game three? Yeah, that makes an awful lot of sense. I completely forgot the pairing. Completely forgot. That's what happens when you can't check graveyards. Yeah, that is what happens when you can't check graveyards. I was wondering, I was like, what's up? Why are you doing Dweller effect? There's no burning abyss. Like, hey, pedo. Pedo, pedo! <laughs> <laughs> we going on to game three? Is that it? I should think so. I should think so, too. They are very... Even decks. Very, very. Yeah. Yeah. Decks that pretty much really haven't got touched. Can go ahead and summon a mathematician. Mathematician send a pedo pedo. Another one. If you survive. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How do I know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This is some clutch stuff yeah, here. <laughs> you mad is trying to hold on for dear life. Jerry hasn't even gone to. He, he, Jerry doesn't even want to go into Diamond. He's like, I don't need it. I don't mm -hmm. need to. I'm gonna go ahead and crash with the the mad. And of course, draw a card. Maybe he can top deck into something. No, no, book a boom, sit down. <laughs> Get your ass down. Oh, okay, I think we might be game. Because now you can just go attack, which of course he doesn't take any damage. No, nope, get rid of that card now. Just another mistake. Mm. <laughs> no mistake. <sighs> that's, the, that's the thing with, with uh, 
with uh, Burning Abyss running Floodgates is that, of course, then you can't special summon your Burning Abyss monsters. Yeah. So was it worth yeah. it? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> he got the, he, he had some powerful plays, too. This wasn't enough. All right, we're going to go ahead and go on to game three. Be right back. All right, we are back. So, game three. This is a long episode of the Ando Commentary. This really is. A long, long episode. Long episode. I said that... Good thing you got me here, otherwise... <laughs> otherwise it'd be not interesting. Necro... <laughs> Necro kicked the no shit out of that guy real quick. <laughs> but... Oh, of course, Barton Bits <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh, kick the shit out of them real like, quick. Oh, we got time for another one. We got time one. for another yeah, one. Yeah. Oh, well, then two decks that are more closely matched duel each other. <laughs> And they're all, and all they're dueling for is for one point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who, who, what would that be? What would that be? That's Stu versus Omega Chaos? Actually, I, 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 think, I, so. I think that's actually what's week two, but of course, Stu already uses Burning Abyss, so it won't be Burning Abyss versus uh, Tom and Knights. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So sorry, people. You won't be seeing this matchup. You you won't be seeing this matchup until what the <laughs> maybe the playoffs? Yeah, maybe the playoffs. <laughs> That's only a possibility too. So, does anybody have? Do you have a shadow imprisoning? Do you have a light imprisoning? This... <laughs> Once again, just keeping that. The mirror is a strong. Yeah. Keeping that mathematician alive, I mean, there's no point in killing it, I guess. But he has back row, so it's not like he can special summon a burning abyss, but like, right now he can't even normal summon a burning abyss without dying, so. <laughs> yeah. He's just gonna go ahead and take the mathematician and crash. Yeah, and go ahead and take that 300 and draw a card. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. He's like, fuck that shit. You ain't drawing shit. Get out of here, deeper than. <laughs> I mean, his goal was complete. He just wanted mathematician off the field. Yeah. So that was kind of a waste. Of but it. that was like a one, one for one kind of. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Instead of letting your opponent draw with, uh, with mathematician, you decided to just go ahead and put. I don't know. It seems like you should have just saved your decrypt. Wow. Send the rest of the block. Oh and nope. Again. Nope. <laughs> he went does it too quick. Right there, you are already up in that deck. Oh! Oh, okay. No response. Fair enough. Fair enough. No second mistake. Second mistake. <laughs> Someone needs time. Well, that was a mistake. Me. There's one thing you don't understand until it logs in, logs out. Okay. Uh, what is it? They're not. Mm, the nev still so Someone, expensive. <laughs> Someone types to me and says, "There's one thing I don't understand about the league," and then logs out, so I can't even answer their question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, overlay those two into any beast a dweller, and boss. Nah, get out of here. Mm -hmm, get out of here. Let's get out and chain it up. That burning bits just have so much back row. <laughs> it's interesting for a deck that you know likes a special summon. It's like, oh, you don't have any back row, special summon burning bits. They're like, oh, I know how to run that. I'll just run a crap ton of back row. <laughs> seems like it would contradict <laughs> the burning bits, but nah, it seems like it's doing totally fine. Oh, get out of here! The powerful chaos trap hole that can be used both ways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You summon a dark man. That's pretty good. Yep, when a dark light monster be summoned, period. Pay two thousand one points and get to summon if you do banish it. Counter trap. Damn. Power. It's like a solemn warning. <laughs> I'm good. Some that mathematician again. You can't chaos trap all that. Oh, but you can solemn warning that. I'm gonna shut my mouth. <laughs> I got nothing to say. <laughs> He's like, what? I can't chaos trap all it. I can do this. It's kind of like chaos trap hole. Spell speed three points. <laughs> it's another spell speed three card that I paid two thousand life points for. Damn. <laughs> I already cut the life points set. Oh, oh my god. Ouch. Compulse. Warning. 
vanity. God, the traps, the, the back, back row. row, the, the number generator, this door. Yu-Gi-Oh can be a bit sickening sometimes. Mm -hmm. It really can. It's like any other card game doesn't run back row like this. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh is the only. It's like a game of back row, not a game of wit. Yeah, sometimes there's duels like that. <laughs> Okay. Ha, I drew more trap cards than you, I win. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Both these decks are pretty back row heavy. The Tower Knights run at least 20 traps, and Burning the Base are probably somewhere close to that, so. I'd say the only problem now is how is he going to get around that Altair if that special summoning? It's going to be interesting. Seems like now he's just going to beat your face in. <laughs> You can't even go like special summon a, a party in your base, normal summon, and go into like a Dante or something. Hey, is, is this duel really gonna end with the Altair beating your living face in? Or maybe you're gonna have some background to go ahead and get rid of the Altair. Yeah, maybe. But then your enemies will go. Oh, yes, Barbara. Baba. I totally forgot that Barbara was a 1500 beater. I totally forgot about that. Let alone that party this run. Probably won. Is this a real thing that people play? Yeah, yeah, they run one. Go ahead and burn for the... Is it because of the attack? I think it's for the attack and for the burn. Just like, you know, how you run Cowboy. Just go ahead and... Go. Yeah, but... I don't like it. If you want the attack, use the... Is there a 1900 one? Is there? Or is it 1800? The dragon dude. I think it has a 1900 booty. I don't think it has a 1900 attack. No, I think Barbara has the highest attack. Oh. Okay. Uh, the van is gone. Gonna go ahead and play that call of the hunts during the end phase. <laughs> Damn, you mad. You just, just run out of resources real quick. Plus, Jerry is sitting here going so plus. <laughs> like, just plus. Like, oh, call of hunted all tired, all tired, didn't have, didn't have search. Like, that's crazy plusage. <laughs> you went from fucking two cards to like six cards. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, someone else here. Else there, target the other Deneb. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and activate his, uh, what is it called? Fiend, Fiend Grieving. So you go ahead and, and, uh, return it back to the deck. Oh, there. To send a, to send a Fiend. It's yeah. Quite pretty good. It helps with the consistency of burning your wrist. It's like, it's like a mathematician, except you don't have to run yeah. a mathematician. <laughs> you know, sometimes shuffling, uh, Monster back to the deck is not too bad. Like that, he got to shuffle the Deneb back. Uh -huh. I mean, too bad he has another Deneb, but eh, like I said, I wouldn't mind Deneb getting hit. I'm gonna go ahead and send uh, Graf, and Graf is gonna go ahead and summon that Skarm, so. And, uh. What do you think of Fiendish Rhino in? Isn't that a Korean exclusive? Right? Say again? Isn't that a Korean card? I didn't hear what you said. Rhino, isn't it? I, I think it came. Did it did it come out here? I know it was a Korean card. I'm not sure if it originally. came out yet. I know it was a Korean card, and you know, Koreans, they be having some crazy ass cards. So, I wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't be the first time. I'll look it up real quick. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and push that Sir. Sir's gonna go ahead and summon that Barbar -bar again. Trib killed the bar bar. So you already know exactly what's in his hand. You know exactly what's in his hand. So now the question is, you're gonna go ahead and banish the sir, banish the graph, and flick 600? Yeah, it is only out in Korea. Is that that diamond? Yep. Here is the diamond. Ah. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, so he already knows exactly one card in your hand. You get your top deck until we get you. Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Chaos style. <laughs> did we see him? Did we see him run dark holes as well? He might have slided them out though. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was amazing. I, told I can't you. believe you that. Fucking number generator is stupid. <laughs> you. That is amazing in so many ways. <laughs> <laughs> you top dead. I don't even think that's gonna save him though. Believed in the heart of the cards. Certainly help. I mean, it helped. I mean, he's the. Yeah. So what's that? What it's is that? just not. Yeah, it's a scarm. 
Wow, I can't believe it. I was I was kidding about that. I was really I was yeah. really kidding. And then it happened. Yeah. I mean, he did have number generator in his favor, but still. Hey, I believe in your friendship and your friendship, the power yep. of friendship. <laughs> yep. She probably drew a big smiley face on her hands or something. <laughs> Exceed them into Triv again. So return Bounce all yeah. things. And pick the scar now. And then slap you in the face for 21 <laughs> again. I wonder if Jerry's running more than one diamond. Generally, people don't, but maybe? He's not even gonna pick the scar out. He's like, I don't even care. Okay, it doesn't look like he runs more than one diamond. The only people only run one, so. Even Teller Knights. But now everybody can run diamond with. The Ptolemyo, so... <laughs> What's his name? Planet Telenite. Planet Telenite Ptolemy. Ptolemy? Planet Telenite Ptolemy. 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 I knew that. <laughs> it's like Pterodactyl. Oh, yeah. I mean, Pterodactyl. Fucking Pterodactyl. You know how I knew that you knew that? Because you're, pas how? Because you're psychic. <laughs> I am for psychic. <laughs> Fuck that silent P. <laughs> so you can go ahead and over that break key skill. Go ahead and definitely get a search. Go ahead and summon your nuke back. And once again, it just seems like uh, Tower Knights are just outpaced and out resourced. The Burning Abyss player. I'm gonna go and throw the Regeki at it. Fuck it. Fuck it. It doesn't care if you get the fucking search. There's my Regeki. And that is it, people. The Teller Knights have beat Burning Abyss. And I was just saying, I was just saying, I said, and I, I just have to say, Necros, Cleves, Burning Abyss, Tellers, even though this at this time, just having to go to the Tellers beat Burning Abyss, but I definitely have to say Burning Abyss is stronger than Tellers. Uh, Shadal's, Ritual Beast, other decks. <laughs> <laughs> other decks. <laughs> So anyway, there you go. We're gonna have end that episode of the end of commentary. So this is a long one. This is a long one, but it was a good duel. Yeah, it was. It was the Necros guy beating the crap out of the guy real quick, showing his dominance, and then mm -hmm. this was a good duel. It was a good duel. So uh... definitely grab your pot of corn for this one. <laughs> the pot, <laughs> the pop of corn. <laughs> the pop <laughs> of corn. All right. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of like a league, but yeah, this was before league. So every Tuesday at the end of commentary. That's a different person that's not Stanzi. <laughs> of course, Stanzi. I'm not Stanzi. Yeah, not Stanzi. If you haven't figured that out by now. I mean, you're both, it's seriously. You're both British. I mean, I know we're, I know we're both British, but <laughs> you both, you come could... on, he's from the north. <laughs> wow. Because you, you, you guys live in London, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone in England lives in London. <laughs> I also have crumpets with the Queen every now and then. <laughs> Uh, that's so racist. <laughs> so anyway, be sure to support me and said the captain of the, ga the kite galaxy photon. Uh, yeah. Get on, get into the playoffs. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. It's like a kind of like a pseudo league, uh, that you guys get on Tuesday where instead of dueling actual league and going for points, it's just random people dueling and we commentate. So uh, be sure to come back to more DM duel commentary uh, next week, where I'll be joined by Not Stanzi and uh, looking at some more duels. So, all right, people, thanks for watching. <laughs> By not something. Yep. <laughs> yep. Thanks for watching. <laughs>